Okay, so this episode doesn't start off cute like the other two. It's ro it's called Rosebud. It's, it starts off very awkward. It shows Stephen putting his mom's portrait of Rose Quartz in so many different places. The only part that made me laugh was when Stephen put it back in the same place and then he was like, Arr! and he put his hands on his head. That made me laugh so freaking hard. It's just that, like, you do have to cut off that part because it was copyright in my Emerald video. So, yeah, that, that was stupid. And then he talks to his dad and Amethyst. I, I don't know why Garnet and Pearl didn't appear yet, but he talks to them. I find that very stupid, it, like how the Crooniverse keeps on writing more and more of her problems into Steven. Like, why, why can't we just get a Pink Diamond and Rose Quartz flashback so they could feel like the same person for once? But nevertheless, out of nowhere, the Zoomins come, and yeah, that's another thing I hate about this show. If Pink Diamond's so-called a good person, then why did she leave behind all those Zoomins in the zoo? And why did Steven do the same thing? Why didn't the gems rescue the Zoomins and send them back to Earth? I know they would act different on Earth. They would act like weird, strange, wild animals. But that doesn't mean you can't take them back to Earth now that the Empire is dismantled. Now that the Empire is dismantled, they could be free to do whatever they want. But it's still weird. They turned the zoo ship into a cruise ship and I'm supposed to be cool with that? I'm not cool with that. I'm weirded out. And all my Babe Holly Blue gets is a little, like, gag, and that's about it. That's disappointing. She's still under the diamond rule. This this is a problem. She She's still creeped out by the diamonds, especially Steven. This is a problem. I, this thinks it's okay, but no, I don't think this is okay. I, I, I really don't think this is okay. Overall, this, like... Episode only gets better when he meets up with the three Wars courses, and for some reason, the other Rose courses don't come out to meet, like, Steven, since she, he has Pink Diamond's gem. I, I don't know why the, the other Rose courses don't come out, and only three of them like, like him. But those three are adorable. Hippie, Fangirl, and Shy are, like, very good. Actually, Shy is the most forgettable, since she's just there to look exactly like Rose. But the awkward moments in this episode, it's just crappy writing and it's so funny to me. It's just, <laughs> it's the Cruniverse at their best when they're at their worst. It's just, show, stop crapping on Rose Quartz, please. I get it. She was a bad person. But can you at least, like, pick a middle ground and show me, like, what positive things this woman did? Like, what? <laughs> Yes, this is the look I wish to see. <laughs> what? I, I, I know, it's just so confused. I don't know whether to like it or hate it. It's just, wow. The three, like, their interactions with Steven are very adorable and very awkward. Especially Fangirl Rose, she is so awkward towards Steven when um he teaches her how to eat. It's just, you could turn it into something inappropriate since she said it's food hole. You could turn that hole into something else, and I, I find that very weird for a kid's show. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> and Hippie Rose Quartz, oh man, she talks like this. She, she's, on, she's on weed all the time. And I forgot a single thing that Shy Rose said except for when, um... She convinced, like, them that Steven was uncomfortable around them and he didn't really like them around because they looked like his mother. So then at the end, it was very nice. They, like, he came to a compromise that um, they were Steven's sisters. They were all made by the same diamond he was. They could all be a family. And we never see those three again. And that's another problem with Future. They bring off pot points and then we never see them again. I mean... If Steven came to a compromise, then so could Garnet, Pearl, and Amethyst come to a compromise for those three. There must be some way they could, like, deal with a person's look. And that's another thing. This episode is mainly about judging a person solely based on their looks, and I think that's an awful message to send to people, especially kids. Kids that could easily pick up this stuff, and I, I find that a very toxic message for people. 
And so that's why I think that um, Greg especially should have came to terms with this instead of running away. He should have faced his fears, faced his problems. I found it hilarious that Greg said, nope, and then ran out like a bullet. But it would have been way more interesting if he, like, at least learned to deal with someone looking exactly like his dead wife. It would have been a very interesting lesson. Overall, I like Rosebuds, but it could have been a lot better. And again, the Zoomans, oh, that screwed up. They just turned it into a cruise ship? No, that wouldn't help at all. Just send them back to Earth. And the ending, it genuinely made me smile when he put, like, his mom's portrait back inside Lion so he could visit it anytime. Even though he still wants to get over her, he, he still kept it in Lion's mane, just where she wanted to be with her memories, that that was very touching to me. Other than that, this episode was like awkward to get through and very forced, like writers, stop focusing on Rose. Get over her. Move on. Okay, so this is another episode of Volleyball and it starts out really cute. Steven goes Dr. Mario on us and decides to go on full on cosplay and put on a doctor's outfit. <laughs> Then he decides to like heal the gems during volleyball, and, and then he says volleyball isn't a contact sport. Um, it technically is, Stephen. The ball makes contact with your hands and with people's heads, so it's pretty much is a contact sport. The more I think about it, out of nowhere, Pink Pearl comes along. I, I don't know why she doesn't ask any more questions, but she only asks if he could like heal her cracked eye, and this is a good thing since this is a plot point we've been wondering about for, like, ages. We've been wondering how she got that cracked eye, and we've been contemplating on whether it was Pink Diamond or White Diamond who gave her that abusive cracked eye. And things turn more awkward when he can't heal it, so he goes out to ask for, ask for Pearl's help, and then Pearl starts to act weird and jealous towards Pink Pearl, then he nicknames her Volleyball after being in the head with a volleyball. And I'm like, seriously, Steven? You're so uncreative. But Volleyball enjoys it and says that Vic used to give me all the nicknames. She was so funny like that. And then Pearl hints at her still having a crush on Pink. Girl, don't judge her. You're still not over Pink either. Get over it. Come on. <laughs> Nevertheless, I guess that song in the movie, Pearl's song, was pointless. I guess she's still not crying all the tears, and here we are in the future. I, I guess it's so pointless. Because there's another line in this episode that makes me so much more angry at Pearl and make me not like her as a character, but we'll get to that soon. We'll get to that soon. So, like, the Pearls don't get along that well, and Volleyball even totally burns Pearl by saying she's older than her. And then Pearl gets smacked by a volleyball. It's just so funny. <laughs> the volleyball gags are, are very good in this episode, I gotta admit. But there was this promo art in which all the characters were playing volleyball with each other. And it looked like kind of action-packed and dynamic. And that's what this episode should have been. The characters playing volleyball with um, volleyball. Trying to enjoy themselves instead of getting caught up in this cracked eye thing. I know it would have not answered the cracked eye conspiracy, but still it would have been a lot more interesting if they answered the cracked eye at the end and she explains that she was abused by Pink Diamond. So then um, they warped to this thing called the Reef. I, I don't know why or how, but it's where pearls are created. Pink Pearl like goes in to get scanned. They let her get scanned, but then the machines act sassy and tells her that, I'm sorry, this can't be healed. Due to it being trauma and all, uh -huh, have a good day, bye-bye. <laughs> it didn't necessarily go like that, but that's how it went in my head. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Are you dead serious? Are you crapping on me? It's just, what? That's just so stupid. I, I like the cracked eye aesthetic. It's very cool. I kept the cracked eye on her in my fan art, but other than that, it's just... Stupid. <laughs> and then um, Pink Pearl and Pearl start to argue. And then we that's when we find out that from Pink Pearl that Pink Diamond actually abused her and hit her around. And 
Pink Pearl made excuses for um her diamond being okay and that the crack was no big deal because she was like programmed to worship her diamond and I found that so sad. It's like the abuse victim defends their abuser saying it was no big deal and, and I found that so real and hard hitting but then Steven had to like ruin it with his pink powers by yelling that he doesn't want to hear about his mom, he doesn't want to think about it. He just wants to fix it, and I mean that thing to death so much. Like, I watch plenty of memes like that, and I feel like making a meme about it. Like, I even put the stop clip in my Charmix Watches the Sauce Wide TV, and it was so hilarious. In all seriousness, Steven, stop yelling at the abuse victim. Try to help her out. Try to say that this was wrong, that this isn't right. It isn't right to give someone a forever injury. It's just wrong. What is wrong with you, Steve? What is wrong with Steven in this season? I just, this is like Knuckles level of angry. It's just so untolerated. It's just not Steven. It, it's not even white Steven anymore. It, it's just not him anymore. It's just, and then he doesn't apologize after it. And even Pearl saw him yelling and did nothing about it. It's like, seriously, what, what is wrong with you, Pearl? And then the system saw that like, he was being upset by these pearls, so it, it suddenly decided to reset them. Don't worry, your pearls will be rejuvenated. And even when he said stop, it, it, it still decided to rejuvenate the pearls, and that didn't make sense. Shouldn't it listen to his voice? Shouldn't it open the shell up so they could come out? It's just so weird. And this is the part that made me so mad when um, Pink Pearl was like, they were about to get rejuvenated, like the glowing lines on them gathered, that was pretty cool looking animation, and then Pink Pearl said, I've never stopped hurting, and what made you stop? And then Pearl hugs her and says, I didn't, and then they fuse, but the fusion was all right, but the way she said, she didn't stop hurting? Uh, it's just, it, it hurts my heart because we stuck with this lady since season one. We stuck with her since the beginning and she cared about Steven and she helped him. And since she has been trying to get over her trauma of Rose and then she got over it in the movie. But then the writers turn around and say that she's not over it just to force her to be related to April to help her trauma? This isn't a good couple. This this feels forced. It just... Spinell isn't even on screen, but I, I ship her with Pink Pearl for a reason. At least she doesn't, like, force her feelings, like, onto people. At least she tries to move on. At least she tries to, like, get along with people despite being clingy. And I, I went through that before. I've been in the clingy state a bunch of times. And I just, with Pearl, I can't. I just can't. You try to get over something. Can get over it. Stop being so <sighs> mixed. And, and not too long ago, you were fighting with Pink Pearl about, like, your diamond. It's just, I just, <sighs> how did you stop hurting? I didn't. It's just, you're no longer hurt. You're no longer part of your diamond. Why, why would you do this? The only thing that got me glad was the fusion representing that they got over Pink Diamond. And the fact that they went came to a compromise at the end and talked to Steven. And I, I like that the fusion is Mega Pearl. And... They got along at the end, and for some reason, Pink Pearl leaned on Pearl, hinting they were going to be a thing, but then the writers never returned to it again. Like, writers, are you drunk? It's just... I don't even get why fans ship these two. It's just only one episode, and I know Spinel didn't appear at all, but I couldn't understand why those two would be a couple. And even more than Pearl. I mean, like, I think like, off-screen development is better than, like, this on-screen development that is so confusing and that revolves, like, only when Steven is there. She had to carry Steven as a fusion. 
She had to go with Steven to the show. She had to even go with Steven at the beach. And I'm talking about the Fusions components, not Mega Pearl here, but you get what I mean. Everything revolves around Steven. This is the best episode because it develops Pearl and insights into what she's been through. But what makes it so bad is the botching of her character and the botching of Steven's character. The only thing that made me smile at this episode was Pink Pearl. She was the only one who was like actually better developed. She got more development and we got to hear her voice more. And I like to imagine that her eye at the end was still cracked. I like that she, she like learned to cope with her problems rather than like just fully like let them well let them go it's like spinel she still has her battle scars she still has her tears but she's still letting go she's still being fixed up unlike pearl who's still holding on to her rose memories and still wanting to be owned by someone it's just crazy overall pink pearl is best steven get a life and pearl please be a better character she ain't gonna be better. A very special episode. This wasn't special at all. This... This really wasn't special at all. I'm keeping the burp in the take because the burp sums up my feelings on this episode. <laughs> in all seriousness, it opens up cute, of course. This... This has been a thing in the future that it has very cute intros. It opens up with um like two action figures, hands playing with two action figures, and then one giving the other a dollar. And then it turns out these hands are onion and finally Rainbow Quartz 2.0. Hey, there's my boy right there. He's playing with him and babysitting him. And it turns out like Pearl and Steven were babysitting onion for Vidalia and Yellowtail. But I wonder, why didn't Sour Cream babysit Onion? I know he's a DJ, but does he go to college too? They, they never explain if um, Sour Cream goes to college or not. Even my OC, Ron, my human OC, he stopped delivering pizzas, went to college instead. He, he, got an, he tried to get an actual career and tried to learn how to like get an actual job out of college, but here, it's not explained at all. It, it just opens up with them raising onion. And then suddenly, Garnet needs Steven's help out of nowhere. And for some reason, she's written out character. I know this episode isn't canon, but I can't believe I'm saying this. Say Uncle did it better. I can't even talk about this episode without getting, like, infuriated. The only thing that made me happy was the um, song, Rainbow Quartz 2.0 song, and the fact that Onion could control gem weapons. Holy crap, why don't they bring this up again? That's pretty cool. But still, what the heck is he? Why the heck is he? What is going on? I just, I question my life sometimes for episodes like this. And I don't have any more to say about a very special episode since I just... This was a bunch of filler that we didn't need in the final series. Instead of a very special episode, I would have replaced it with Steven trying to learn more about his pink powers from Pink Pearl, feeling less alone, spending more time with Connie, as well as like spending time with their dating lives as well. And not only that, but Pink Pearl would have met Connie and that would have been way adorable. That would have been way cute. And then Pink Pearl would have met Spinel. We would have like gotten Spinel early. At least like Stephen sending a letter to Spinel saying that like he has a new friend he wants her to meet and then boom meeting Pink Pearl. But of course we can't have nice things. This, I'm not even talking about the episode anymore. I just can't talk about this episode without feeling enraged. Can Garnet like set this one line? I, I'm gonna play this one clip here to like so you can witness the hilarity of how out of character she is. Let me tell you all the ways you can get hit by a car.